Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, it's time then for our final bout here at the K2 Arena in Crawley. So ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome our last fighters into the, into the arena and into the blue corner. Please welcome Harry the Hitman Camden. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome into the arena. Make some noise for Jack McLean. Well, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, our final bout then of the evening. Introducing to you first, our first boxer, standing in the blue corner, representing Sheerfield Park Boxing Gym. Make some noise for Harry the Hitman Camden. And his opponent, standing across the ring, boxing out of the red corner, representing Top Dog Boxing Gym. Make some noise and welcome, Jack McLean. This middleweight contest, we fought over three, two minute rounds. Our referee and third man in the ring. At the sound of the bell, the charge will be Mr. Jimmy. Here we go then, three rounds of middleweight boxing between Harry Camden and Jack McLean. Now, I've said this to Dan earlier, you know, as far as I can see, McLean is very lively, um, he knows what he's doing, and he's not easy to beat. Um, I've never seen Camden before. Um, you might argue, Dan, and say, yes, you have, Steve, but I, can't, I don't remember. He's had 15 fights and all, won nine of them. Two, three, lost three, and that's all I know. And interestingly, McLean's record is, is, is two wins and three defeats, you know, so there you go. Yeah, like you say, we don't really know uh, much about 
Camden. Uh, one thing we do know is he didn't come into the ring on a hobby horse. <laughs> Unlike McLean. Unlike yes. McLean, yes. So I've never seen that before. Yeah. Um, that was actually quite funny. It was fu It was funny. He didn't look like he was doing it as a joke, did he? He looked like he meant it. <laughs> well, yeah, well, hey, why not? Yeah, yeah, why not, eh? Takes all the types, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah, as, uh, as far as the boxing goes, um, we, like you say, we don't really know a lot about Camden. We know that Jack McLean can be lively, we know that he can be a good boxer, we know he can he can uh, throw a punch. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what Camden can do to to have an effect on, on McLean. But uh, you can't sniff at the fact that he's had uh, 15 fights. That's, that's a fair amount of experience. And that's 15 fighters that he's told us about. Yeah, yeah, and with, nine, with nine wins. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, he sets himself up like a decent boxer, doesn't he? He's, he, he holds his hands. Oh, sure. Well. Got a nice jab, pokes it out quite well. Um, but but we, we, we knew that the um, the positives of McLean are that, you know, he, he, he pressurises you, he stays on top of you, he hits you hard. Yeah, he puts on the pressure, like we, like we said, um, both of us have said he, he, can, he can throw a punch um, and, and they can have a, a big effect. Um, but from what I'm seeing here, Camden's uh, up to the job at the moment. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty evenly matched fight, isn't it? It's well matched, as, as most fights are on the first box in the league. Oh, indeed. I think Alan Foley's done a fantastic job here tonight. Yeah, another great show that he's put on, um, bringing the Quest family back together again. And uh, it's great to see, and we've mentioned it, but Jimmy Horney, it's his, his debut of refereeing an ex-Quest uh, fighter, a really good fighter himself, knows the game inside and out, and it's great to see him uh, being part of the of the game still. Absolutely. How did you score that one, Steve? It's a fairly difficult one to score in my eyes, oh, but... No, it wasn't for me. No, where are you going to go, Jack? Uh, I, I, I went for McLean. Yeah, I, I, I did as well, but I, I just think it was... Uh, it was a bit scrappy, wasn't it? it wasn't, uh, no one really took the ball by the horns no, and made I, I, it their I own. totally agree with you, but I mean, for the most part of the round, McLean was in charge. Yeah, McLean was like, pr putting the pressure, uh, dictating the pace. Um. Yeah, I think Cameron's got to come out and, and really make it his fight, hasn't he? He's got to decide how he's going to deal with McLean. Um, I mean, we, we, neither of us know the strengths of Camden. So no, that's right, yeah, yeah. He looks like he knows how to throw a jab. He looks like he knows oh, sure. how to box well. He can um, box, no doubt about that. But he's got to decide what he's going to do. Is he going to stand and have a fight with McLean or is he going to try and outbox him? He, he, can't, he can't fight him. He, he doesn't look strong enough. No, he, well, he, he doesn't, does he? And he? From what we know of McLean, he, Camden won't be, but he, he come out and put the shots together straight away there, oh, yeah. a little combination. Um, gone straight at McLean in this fight, so he obviously feels that he can have an effect on him. Well, we'll see about that. This is the second round, of course, of the scheduled three. And, uh, yeah, good, uh, good spirited attack here by Harry Camden. One thing you can guarantee is whatever uh, Camden's going to give to McLean, he, he will return in kind, and he, uh, he certainly won't lay down, he, he, won't be, he won't be put off by any, any sort of power from Camden. And it's, it's interesting, isn't it, how, well, I think it is anyway, um, you can, you can announce Harry Camden, played by Michael Caine, you know? That's what it kind of yeah, sounds like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, McLean opting. He's very unorthodox, isn't he? He is, yeah, like he's got that um, peekaboo style of, yeah. of guard, isn't he? Um, which you, you don't really see a lot these days, do you, in boxing? And it's very hard to read. It is hard to read, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, well, good on you. Yeah. yeah, Camden putting his shots together well yeah. this round. I think he's, uh, he's sort of... Like we said, he needs to come in and, and make the fight his own and decide how he's going to attack with sure. the puzzle in front of him that is, um, is McLean. Um, and he, in my eyes, he's, he's doing that up to now. I think, uh, I think you're right. McLean's got to sort of uh, decide. Whoa. What was that about? Oh, yeah, oh, a backhand. Yeah, for a backhand. It was, um, he went from that peekaboo style for his. Oh through his hand out. Um, That's naughty. Yeah, I don't think there was much intent. Yeah, I think it was more of a trying to put his opponent off, yeah. But, um, but Horn was right to pull it up. Yeah, yeah. Good, good referee. Yeah, for me, I think, like I, said, like I was just saying there, I think McLean needs to get back to what was working in that in that first round and be a bit more effective with the power and, and the way he is a bit unorthodox and throwing his shots from different uh, angles. Because um, at the moment he's sort of been found out a bit, hasn't he? That's a good point, yeah. And don't forget, a lot of movement here for Camden as well. You know, he's, he's not staying 
in one spot so he can you know he can pass himself to him. He's, he's off, he's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really good round from uh, Harry Camden there. to fight for in the last round, Steve. Um, yeah. Harry Camden looks like he's in a bit of uh, discomfort in the corner there. He's asking his coach to shake his legs off, so he's obviously feeling the pace of that first couple of rounds, um, which it doesn't sound a lot, does it? No. Two, two two-minute rounds doesn't sound a lot, but when you're in there, yeah. you've got the nerves, you've got this crowd, exactly. uh, and you're underneath these lights, it, it can be a lot. Um, McLean looks a lot more calm, a lot more cool and confident. Um, but yeah. for me, I think I think both of them have got to come and try and take this last round and make yeah. it their fight because uh, it's, it's both of theirs to win, both of theirs to lose. Absolutely. Here we go then, third and final round. And uh, Jack McLean, who, by the way, also does bear enough for boxing uh, in the black and white shorts, red gloves, and uh, he can be terribly nuisance for the county. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's hard work to yeah. fight, isn't it? Um, however good you are, he's going to be hard work. To fight, um, and for me, this this last round, it, it, it was going to come down to someone coming out and really saying, right, this is how this round's going to go, and it's going to be my way, or I'm going to allow it to go your way. For me, at the moment, um, McLean is uh, is the one that's sort of stamping his authority on this round and making it his own fight. Camden looks a bit um, looks a bit puzzled. With, with, with Having said that, you know, Dan, I mean, you know, Camden looks like he's got a very different future. Yeah, yeah, Camden looks like a really good fighter. No, no, definitely not. I mean, he's, he's up against a, a really good... Boy as well. He's up against a really good fighter in McLean. Um, yeah. uh, but like I said, in, in the corner, it looked like Camden was, was in a bit of bother. He looked like he was uh, a bit tired, which is um, something that he needs to work on and something, something that he needs to, to get right because uh, he, he, he put in a great performance in that second round, but did he spend all his energy trying to win that round? That's um, the question, yes. And if that's the case, then he needs to learn how to manage his, his energy fit. in the fight. Get fitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I, I don't think he, he, it was a case of that, to be honest with you. I think, you know, he's still got quite sprightly now, doesn't he? Yeah, he did, but no, he was... I say that, you know, he's, he grabbed hold of the hair, you know, did him all the work. Yeah, 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 he was, but he was complaining in his corner to his, um, his coach about his legs. And, oh, and yeah, yeah, that's true, yes. Yeah, maybe he cramped up or something. Yeah, 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 maybe. But for me, McLean has come out and... He made this last round his own. He's the one that's like sort of slipping the shots, coming back with his unorthodox shots. He's sure. bringing them out, bringing them underneath, over the top. There you go. Now, has this uh, last one got on the way of uh, the Oral Glory Gym or the Sherfield Park Boxing Gym? That's the question. Yeah, I, I, I tend to think that uh, McLean done enough in that last round to to win win the round and and, and therefore winning the fight. Um, I don't think I'm going to argue if it goes the other way. Well, I've scored a 29-28. In favour of McLean? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly how I've got it. Yeah. <laughs> we do like a character on Quest, and uh, McLean's another one. He's not well, is he? Where's his horse? Yeah. I think this could be one of those fights again that we've said it, uh, said it this evening already. Um, Boxing the centre, Some of the fights, Camden could watch this back and kick himself that he could have done a bit more. Yeah, uh, quite, quite right, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecards with the unanimous decision. Your winner in the red corner, Jack, so, Jack McLean. As we thought he would. Uh, but, you know, eight full marks there to, uh, to, to his opponent, Harry Camden. I, you know, I think he, he showed quite a lot of promise. Yeah, he did, yeah. He's, he's one that, again, I'm, 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 I'm really, uh, really like to see him back on on the league in future. Um, shows great promise and he's a, he looks like a good fighter. He just, uh, just didn't go his way tonight.